Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me in this video of the Like a Boss Facebook training. In this one, we're gonna dive into audience insights and finding those interests that are so important for your targeting. This is really the main piece of targeting that most folks will use with their Facebook advertisements because of all that data that Facebook gives us when people interact with pages and groups or just whatever posts are related to that niche. Throughout Facebook, they collect this data and really allow us to be able to dial in our targeting and find those exact people who are interested in our message. And the interests are really where it's at as far as that starting point with any niche you jump into, any products you want to sell. So let's go ahead and dive into audience insights and all the research and all that. Um, now, if you're on the ad dashboard here under the tools drop down, you'll see audience insights. Now, like I said, this is a research tool that can be used not only for finding quality interest, but really finding the demographics and the breakdown of your entire audience. Now, if you have a custom audience, if you have emails collected, you can go ahead and uh, submit that in here. Submit those emails and those people, that audience, to see exactly how they break down. This might allow you to find related pages, might be able to show you exactly the age group that you need to be targeting into, what type of people, income, you know, all those important advertising data pieces that we want to know, you can find out in Audience Insights as long as it correlates with who they are on Facebook. So we're just going to go ahead and click everyone on Facebook and really kind of dive deep into a single niche and find, uh, you know, some quality interest to move along with. So let's just kind of dive into the basic platform setup here, all the options you have and the information. Um, on the left hand here, you can go ahead and set up whatever the specifics are to your audience that you want to dive into. Right now, we're hitting pretty much everyone that's 18 and older in the United States on Facebook. And you guys, you can see just in the front here, we're seeing the age breakdown. You know, most people on Facebook appear to be 25 to 34 years old. This is the lifestyle separations, you know, Metro Mix, full stream steaming, and it gives you a little bit of idea of what group of people these are. So we can just kind of dial in our message and know exactly who our audience is. Now, as you can see under the interest here, this is when we can start typing in keywords, finding those groups, finding those other pages and websites out there that our ideal audience member is going to be associated with. Now, let's go ahead and just dive into the platform a little bit more so I can talk about the other information the Audience Insights gives here. Now, under the Page Likes tab, you're going to see some top pages, some top categories that this group of audience is into. So, pretty much this is, like I said, pulling in everyone on Facebook, everyone that uses Facebook, and giving you some of the most um, common categories, most common pages they all like. Number one is Walmart, where that's you know the most biggest page that the majority of people on Facebook like is going to be Walmart. Now as we dial in and we add our interest, we dial into our specific audience member, these suggestions are going to give you good pages, good categories, and good niches to jump into to use as your targeting. So for example, we're going to dive into some horse research here. When we type horse in here or horseback riding, you can see these change to be more specific to the people who actually like horseback riding. Mana Pro Horse, Horse and Rider Magazine. So this is all giving us suggestions and ideas for interest and different targeting options we can use in our advertisements. Now what we want to do in this initial audience insights research is make a giant master list of all these potential targeting audiences so that we can come in with our advertisements later and kind of pick and choose which avenues we want to test out. Now some more information that's going on in here is we have location, you can get your top countries, your top cities, states, whatever it may be, even the languages if you want to dial in, uh, you know, 14% of horseback riding is Spanish, so we can kind of, you can think a lot of the ranchers and things like that are down in Texas and those states who have a lot of immigrants who have come in, so of course Spanish is going to be a, quite a large chunk of these riders and things, so that's something to think about as well. Um, activity is going to give you an idea of what they're doing on Facebook. Most people who like the horseback riding interest here seem to like many more pages than the average Facebook user. The gray is what the average Facebook user is, and then the blue is the specifics that we've outlined here. 
So 36 compared to 19. The average person on Facebook likes 19 pages. Those who like the horseback riding interest like about, on average, 36 pages. So they're a little bit more uh, active on social media, you can see. That's really good to know when you're advertising. They, they comment more, they like more, they click your ads much more often. So that's just kind of good information to know. Is this a niche to jump into? What are they doing? Are they using so social media? Are they using Facebook? We also have information about the devices they're using. Are they all desktop mobile, mobile only? You know, this is all good information. We're doing our ads to dial in and cut our costs. We also have household breakdown. We're looking at our median incomes. We're looking at do they own their house or not, the size of their house, you know, different things like that that are very important for our ads. And then lastly, we have our purchase behavior. So are they buying retail? Are they buying online a lot? What categories of products do they purchase a lot? So as you build this audience, and let's say you're only selling horseback riding products, if for some reason we saw some household products that were really um, higher buyers and higher sellers for this group, we might be able to take that audience and cross over to another niche selling beauty products and things like that. So those are just more examples of information you can get from this audience insights. Now let's go ahead and dive into the actual interest research part of this, the side of it where we want to find those ideal interests that we want to target to find our, you know, our ideal buyers out there. So to get this started, I'm going to go ahead and I will open up a new notepad here. This will just be for our research. I'll put that on my other screen, actually. All right, so like I said, we want to dial in, find as many interests, all the possible targeting angles possible. So we're creating a master list of interests. Now, just because things show up on the audience insights here does not mean it's something we can target on Facebook ads. It just gives us an, an option and an ability that's more than likely going to be targetable. So let's go ahead and start diving into horseback riding, for example. Now we'll start with kind of the main general niche in mind. We know horses or horse, horseback riding was that one big one we saw. So we're going to go ahead and choose that main keyword for, first. Horseback riding is the niche we're jumping into. This is a very, very large interest, 10 million to 15 million people, so it's very broad. And we like this information to be brought at first, but we want to start dialing in to those pockets, like I said. So again, we want to be looking at the interest and the demographics going on with these interests. In this case, 73% are women, and 36% of those are 18 to 24 year olds. So that's something to keep in mind, again, with our targeting. But for this case, we want to go ahead and start dialing in the interest side of this. So we have horseback riding and all of our suggestions here. Now I like to go in and I'm going to go ahead and open every single one of these that seems right in line with what we got. If it's way off uh, center, if you know we're doing horseback riding and it's talking about NFL or football or something, I would probably just skip that one. Um, but really just kind of trying to dial it in a little bit more, getting an idea of all the angles we can hit, where we have horseback riders, we have uh, you know horse sellers, we have, it looks like, rodeo, you've got tailspin bracelets, so products for cowboys and cowgirls. So those are all just different angles we're going to be able to look into as far as our research. Open up all of these suckers. Air Apostle, that's uh, Forever 21. So we don't need to worry about those. Those are just uh, general clothing lines. Rodeo is a little too bit big. Bandamax, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll look into them all. And we're going to go down here, do the exact same thing. Any that you haven't seen so far, open them up. PBR. That's a beer. <laughs> Quarter Horse News. All right, so that is just our main keyword we dove into to get those suggestions. Now we want to start adding more and more um, interests that are available. So I'm just going to go ahead again and type in horseback riding and th see all the suggestions on the left that pop up here. So hor therapeutic horseback riding, hidden trails, equestrian.
All right, now as you add these other interests in there, you're going to see that the suggestions are going to start to move around and change, especially the more dialed in that you get. I think this Gentle Giants is a new one there. Um, so we want to think about this right now. Like I said, we're going the whole general horseback riding niche, but then we're going to start diving into pockets of that niche. So maybe those who own horses, maybe those who are rodeo, um, maybe those who do show horses or whatever, or just farmers in general. Those are all pockets that we can start to dive into. Right now we're just trying to get as many on our list as we poss possibly can. Man, a pro horse looks like a good product line here. Um, we want to make sure that we're separating our interest into categories as well. So I like to go with the general list. I like to go products and brands, associations, and groups. We have rescues, just in case, um, B-list celebrities, magazines, publications and that's pretty much our main right there Maybe there's a there's a lot more out there as far as good groups but those groups these groups right here are kind of your ideal group of interest your ideal audiences that are going to actual actually interact with your passion or whatever the niche is you know someone who is already liking a product or brand in your niche for example, we saw tailspin bracelets. If you're selling jewelry to horse lovers, then this is probably going to be a, a very good interest to start with because these people who like tailspin bracelets already are buying jewelry in this niche. So that's a very direct related um, interest compared to if we're just targeting horseback riding, that's very broad if you're selling those horse bracelets, for example. So not everyone who likes horseback riding necessarily likes horse jewelry, but anyone who likes tailspin bracelets more than likely likes horse jewelry. So you can see it's kind of an estimated guess when we're starting, and that's why we like to create this giant master list moving forward. All right, so we're going to start typing all of these into our audience insights and just watch as the different suggestions pop up. And sometimes, like I said, this over on the right here, it might not be an interest on the left. Left. So as we go through, if it's not showing up, no worries, just move on. Um, Mana Pro Horse, it seems to be the top company in our possibilities list, but it's not showing up for the interest. Just making sure. So that's a good example of one that's not going to work. So that's not an interest we can target, even though it's a top company. No problem, move on, don't add it on the list. Horse and Rider Magazine. As you can see, as you type things in, other suggestions will pop up, always check them out. Horse and Rider Books. There we go. And make sure, you know, the and I use the spelled out version they weren't showing up i use the app i can't remember what the symbol's called use that one in there and that, that does show up as a suggestion as you can see we got a whole bunch more that also showed up so we're going to go ahead and choose all of those all right so now again the suggestions here are changing so we have Horse Health Products is new, Horse Illustrated, NRS, American Quarter, Gentle Giants, Wild Horse Preservation Campaign, I'm a Horse Addict, Horse Doc. All right, next, Quarter Horse News. All right, so now we have a whole bunch more that are popping up. All right, go through the suggestions again. Barrel racing. So as you can see, this is a very long, in-depth process, but if we make that master list at first, you won't have to come back and do this, but you know, every once in a while to see any new interests that might be popping up, you'll have a good, solid group of interests to go start with. 
don't want to get too off based. Stay to horses. You know, if you get a rodeo interest start to pop up, don't do too many rodeo stuff because it will throw off the suggestions to be rodeo. We'll come back in once we have a little bit more list here and we'll start entering categories at a time. So if they're all magazines, we'll take all the interests of the magazines we found, plug them into the audience insights here, look at the su suggestions because people who like all of those horse magazines are probably going to have a few other horse magazines available out there that we just don't know of. Got that one. Gentle Giants. Make sure you're always choosing the correct one, Draft Horse Rescue. Good. Yep. Wrangler is a little too broad, a little too large. Official NFR experience. Again, this is uh, rodeos, so I'm not going to get too deep into rodeos here. We'll add it onto the list under the rodeo category. Um, mostly, we're trying to dial in, like I said, your initial ads, the initial interest we're really interested in, and those super dialed in to our buyer audience. Best estimated guess is how I say it. And then after we have some sales, after things start to take off for our horse-specific horse riding shirts or products or whatever, then we can start to, to expand our reach and scale with interests that cover rodeo or farmers or country and southern people or whatever it may be that's kind of an expanded industry, expanded market to that pocket of horseback riding. So these I'm not going to worry too much about. Pro rodeo, real time cowboys. Ariat Boots. It's another kind of expanding market you could hit. It's right in line though. Bandamax looks like a country outfitters type thing. Might be a good one, but again, not super specific to the horses. Horse network we have. Real-time cowboys, barrel racing, again, rodeo, rodeo, rodeo. All right, now we'll go through the suggestions again. Muddy Country Girl is a good new one. Molly's Custom Jewelry. Heart of a Horse. Clothing store, Money Girl Country, perfect if you're selling to the same group. Molly's Custom Silver, let's make sure that is online. Yep, looks right around our horse owner, farmer type of niche. Part of a horse was good. All right. So we're going through, double check our demographics so we can start to see what's going on. Lots of women, 18 to 44, 18 to 54, looks good. All right, so we have just kind of that initial starter list to get going. We have the good suggestions to kind of dial in more. Now there's a bunch of other you know, ways to start finding more and more interest. First off, we can just go ahead and type in keywords that are related to our niche and see what suggestions come up. So horse, you can start looking here, horse racing, horse trainer, look here, that's a horse name, horse breeding, very broad again, but we can start just to dial in more and more. Horse riding, that's a sport, horse back, horse back ride, all right. Riding horses. Pretty much going through and thinking about all of the type of keywords that might give us some suggestions. Think if you, the more you know your niche, again, the better you're going to be able to do this because you're going to know exactly the terms people are looking for, those specific, you know, phrases or terms that only horseback riders would know. Um, there's probably some 
you know, vocabulary for different positions or writing styles and things like that that I have no idea about that you could type in here and get some good um, ideas to kind of find more and more interest. So that's just the kind of the keyword um, keyword search that's going out there using the suggestions in the audience insights to see what's popping up. Now, after we have that initial list, what we can do is we can start to go out into Google and look for specific things that fall into our categories, okay? So let's think about products and brands to get started. We can go ahead on Google here and we'll search for horseback riding bracelets you know whatever it may be and then you're gonna look for different website stores brands that others might be interested in um, equinenow.com equestrian is one of those type of keywords that fits into that horseback riding so let's look for equinenow.com see if it pops up you can see just typing in a queen gives us all types of more good interests that are going to be specific to horseback riders. So a queen now is not a suggestion. That's okay. We want to go down the list. Team ride safe. And again, you want to do all the different variations just to see if it might pop up. these different brands and on there let's go ahead with products horseback riding products we go gear <clears throat> Dover like let's go back products uh, think about products and brands that are specific to your niche again so saddles would be something that only horse owners really are gonna need state line tack that's for horse supplies and accessories there's statelinetac.com We've got Dover Saddlery. There's Dover Saddlery. All right, so you would just go down through the entire list here. Um, I'd go five, 10 pages deep on Google searches, find all of those products out there and brands, and then you're gonna do the same scenario with each of the other um, main categories going on. So association and groups, we could do like, you know, groups. A lot of meetups popping up here, horsechannel.com, localhorse.com, stateline tack we saw, jurostables.com, that's the, you know, actual stables that we can start to dive into, um, rescues, Queen UNL. Look at the actual name of it. A Queen Unlimited Inc. Nope. Baja Horses. Winter Frost Farm is a ride and rescue. Triple M Riding Rescue. My Saddle Brook Farm. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so as you see, you got to go through each one, check what's working, check what's going to be an actual interest that we can target, and really, like I said, that master list. Rescues are always really great for animals and things like that. Those are people that are super passionate about it. Um, I mean, the farm industry, the cow industry, if you're going rescues, keep in mind that they're not into the farm use 
of the animal typically. So you want to think about who your audience is that you're speaking to and you're talking to, and that's why we categorize it and kind of break it down so that we can see exactly um, who those audience members are and what it is they want from us. So you go down the list as suggested. Now, B-list celebrities, that's something where every niche has some type of celebrity, some type of name that's big in that niche. Um, uh, don't want to go with like A-list celebrities, big names. If you're in the fashion industry, for example, you wouldn't want to target someone like Kim Kardashian or, or something along those lines. Way too broad. You want to find those celebrities, those names that are specific to that audience again, just like the products and brands where only those members of that uh, niche are going to understand who that celebrity is for. So a good example here with horseback riders would maybe be a famous horse trainer, um, maybe a famous rodeo kind of cow wrangler or whatever the horse specific uh, events are for rodeos. So those type of celebrities are really what you want to dial into um, so that you have that exact audience who's really passionate, very passionate about your niche, mostly for those initial costs again with your advertisements. All right, so we have all that broken down. Next off, what we want to do, we can go through, um, like I said, the Google uh, search here. And then lastly, what I like to do is what I call the alphabet test. So you'll type in your main keyword or your main keywords, um, horseback riding, and then you're going to go down the alphabet adding letters. So horseback riding A, horseback riding B. And you're going to see any suggestions that pop up. Now, this is a three-word um, phrase here, so let's go with horseback A, mornings on a horse, horseback B, C, D, E, F, G, and O, P. It looks like all of those are just that one. So let's choose mornings on horseback. Now we could do it horse A, B, C, D, E, F, so that's just going to give you more and more and more suggestions going through to create that master list. So let's go ahead and we're going to grab these, put them on our list. And then we can start to kind of break them down into categories where we know American Horse, these are all kind of associations and groups. So we would take those and put them into the audience insights here alone in that one category, like I said earlier, and we'll be able to dial in on other associations, other groups, and other things that fit into that category. So let's go ahead and do just an example here. We'll cut out anything that's not an association or group. Extra quarter horses, wild American shrimp. Don't even need that one in there. Horseback riding. That's a bracelet, state line, smart pack, saddled and ready, rodeo news. So instead of a, so we're going to do magazines is what I'll do just to make it a little easier. So Mariner and Quarter Horse, I think that's a magazine. Cowboy Magic, Cowgore, Girl, Dover Saddlery. I'm all out. This is kind of just a guesses on what might be the actual magazine so you want to go in and definitely check them all as you're going through all right so these are our known magazines and publications we're down to 1.5 to 2 million reach now we have extra suggestions that are popping up and look they're very specific to other magazines other publications wild hoof beats um, horse training channel athletic rider these are all new ones we did not see redman a queen of horse that's a good <laughs> good name more products, Horse Barrel World, Crown Leather, PleasureHorse.com, Show Horse Today. Lots of stuff popping up here that are new, improved examples. Dude Ranch. Even if they're not related to this specific um, category that we're putting in there, definitely open them all up and you'll add them to the list as well in the other categories. So Wild Hoof Beats. Horse Training Channel. There you go. If you make it count, the Athletic Rider. Nothing. All right. 
Redman and the Queen. As you see, just again, going down the line, seeing what's going to pop up, what's not for us, doing that master research as needed. All right, so that is pretty much it going down the list. From here, like I said, it's just a master research that you have that, that entire list going forward. Um, once you have all of those horseback riding interests dialed in, you have them separated, then like I said, you can start to think about where to go from here as far as interests where we have horseback riding dialed in, the next areas that we can start to dive into, make another master list as far as more things to be able to reach later on, we can start thinking about those related industries, rodeo, farming, um, country living. You know, Those are other interests and industries to dive into now with your interest list so that you have more and more things to expand to when you find that winner and when you wanna scale. And you know, when you're starting out this master research, you can just do your initial focus niche but then as like I said once you have a winner and want to start scaling you're gonna to need to start to look for more and more interests out there and really expand your master list of where you can go from there now these interests do update often so about once every month every three months I would come back in type in all your interests to audience insights see what's showing up for you and what other new suggestions are going because Facebook updates this often so guys, hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you got to see exactly how to use audience insights and really dive in. You can even take these interests that we have. For this example, we have all the magazines. We can look at the demographics um, where we're looking at this one has a lot of men who are 25 to 34 on these interests, which is very different than the overall horseback riding um, market so that might show you that marketing to men 25 to 34 when you're using these interests would be a good idea um, we can also dial it in to have our demographics on the audience insights only be pointing out that group of people so in this case we're looking at let's say 25 to 34 25 to 54 year old male and female and see if that changes anything with our likes because that dials it into the, who these ideal audience members are a little bit more so 25 to 54 we can see all this kind of changed billings livestock horse sale the cinchy cowgirl these are all new horse side vet guide uh, these are all new interests that you can start to look into as well so hopefully this opened up your eyes and see how you can find all those awesome potential targeting um, opportunities with your interests and with Facebook ads. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. Once again, my name is Travis Patel. Have a good one.